brothers and sisters welcome to my channel if you're new please don't forget to subscribe this is your uncle down uncle lenny and please guys do me a big favor i want to know where you'll be seeing this video from and what zip code make sure you drop a comment in the comment box this evening i'm so privileged to sit down with a man of god pastor tk all the way from zambia i'm sure this is a recap <laughs> pastor tk you're welcome to my channel, please. Introduce yourself to my viewers. I'm so glad to be here. My name is uh, Tom Kasanda. But if you started looking for Tom Kasanda in Zambia, you will sleep by the station. Uh, they know Pastor TK, and that has become a brand that I have really appreciated God for. I was born some 46 years ago in the um, um, Luapula province. We call it the Liverpool. The Liverpool? Uh, yeah, the Liverpool. <laughs> And um, I did my primary school at Cheston Primary and my secondary school at Mansa. And later on, I went to Kalik Bible College where I obtained my diploma in Biblical Studies. I'm a trained uh, psychosocial counselor and currently I'm uh, doing my uh, bachelor's degree in leadership um, and theology at Kaliki Bible University. I am a very passionate minister uh, to the youths and the singles and um, uh, the couples. Um, I, I thought a long time ago that I was called to preach the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but I discovered that you only become effective by being selective. Mm. So my projection and my passion in ministry mm. is actually raising new leaders of the nation mm. and raising new fathers and mothers of the nation so basically that's about Pastor TK. I speak to about 6,000 youths in the five schools that I'm ministering to every month. Okay. So that is very, very critical for me because the only way that we're going to see positive uh, change in the nation is when a new breed mm. of young stars are well mentored and they are given principles and values that will catapult the nation to better heights. Mm. Well, Pastor TK, I can tell the profile, I can tell uh, that the CV is big, is, is, is large. Pastor TK, uh, before I continue, I just wanted to know uh, specifically where are you found in Zambia? What, 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 what's the name of the church that you're pastoring in Zambia? I'm with the uh, Apostolic Church in Zambia, but because there are a lot of uh, Apostolic Churches in Zambia, so every church has got a branch. We are specifically in Kitwe in Kwacha, 900 meters away from Mitanto High School. It's a five minutes drive from Riverside Police Station. And um, uh, the church is called Prophetic Worship Center where every member is a minister. That's the way we have uh, groomed the people there. Every member is a minister. We don't have uh, uh, people that are just sitting around in mm. church. We want to groom ministers in the house of God. Okay, okay. So, um, Pastor Tike, I thank you so much for letting us know where you're found. And please, if you are found by any means, you're in the copper belt. Kitwe specifically. If you're in Kitwe specifically, I would urge you guys to stop by and be a blessing to this church. And I'm sh I can assure you that you're not going to come out the same way you entered. You'll be blessed. I've been at the partaker of that blessing when you came to the U.S. <laughs> so, Pastor Tike, I want to tell us a little bit, how was your stay in the U.S.? My stay in the U.S. has been very, very, um, a great blessing, rather, to me. And I have learned a lot of stuff, Uncle Lenny. Mm. Just my stay here. Um, we had a lot of preconceived ideas about the states. Okay. You know, people taught us that no people they are racists and then they are not uh, that helpful and then uh, they were just. I, I think I found something different for me. Mm. I came to appreciate the American people. I think they are friendly people. Mm. They 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 want to help you out. I mean. For us that we are learning to get on one bus from the other and colony. Uh, yes. If you stopped and just I stopped uh, an American friend and say, can you help me? Mm. Just the way they're going to help you, you. their attitude. Mm. You know, sometimes we want to mix uh, one negative experience.
experience that you had mm. and then amplify it to represent the whole big mm. you know it's like you find a zambian who is drunk in america and they say no zambians are just drinkers <laughs> in america <laughs> i think that is not a good representation if you found somebody who was very mean to you mm. and they came from america and say no americans are mean i, I think the six months gave me gave me a uh, a platform gave me an opportunity where i could have a feel mm. of the general attitude of the people in the states, in the states because yeah. apart from pittsburgh pennsylvania yes. i went to the niagara falls that is in new york just border with canada okay and i thought maybe the only people that are good they are those that are in canada, in canada. but when i went uh, there are those that are in pittsburgh but when i went to uh, niagara falls it was the same. It was the same. Yes, I actually found very, very friendly policemen. Everybody wants to run away from the policemen. Mm. I said, no, these are people that are saving us. That's exactly. So I stopped them to greet them. I said, how are you doing, you guys? I'm from Zambia. Can I take a photo with you? And they were excited about wow. it. And we took a photo. That's a photo that's on my profile. Okay. And people were calling me, you, those are people that were scared. I said, how did you get them? <laughs> I was scared of them for what? Yes. You, 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 you only scared if you're of stuff to be scared about otherwise these are friendly people they are looking to for interaction with many many other people mm. so um, i found america to be a very very beautiful place mm. yeah so guys i uh, just wanted you to know the experience in case you are thinking or you have a thought of visiting the united states that's the reason why i wanted pastor ticket just to tell us a little bit about the experience and of course you can hear what he's saying that the americans are so friendly and for sure i can attest to that i've been around in the in the u.s for quite some times i'll tell you that whenever you go to them they will tell you that they will help you um that's the beauty about this land so mr ticket tell me uh, uh, the, the the disadvantage that you saw in the u.s what is it that you didn't like no not really the disadvantage but the challenges that i had yes it, it is the coming from a culture where um you actually know this bus is coming from town to Chimwemwe. Okay. From Chimwemwe to Sakile. Okay. But you see, the way the, the transport system is designed, it uh -huh. was really challenging for me. Okay. I think that was a part that really gave me a little challenge. <laughs> and and, and I, think, I think I concluded out of that challenge that if you, if you get lost anywhere yes. in life, mm. it's because it's just, it, it, it is basically your pride. That's exactly. Because why should I get lost if I can ask you? That's a thing. You have been in the place for a long time. Yes. So if I if I shy out and then put on uh, my pride that I cannot ask, then I'm going to be on the bus for two hours. For two hours. Yeah, there was a time I was on a bus. I didn't know where the bus stop was. Wow. And I was on a bus for two hours. Going around. They said, I decided to go to the driver. I said, no, I'm supposed to drop off somewhere. Somewhere. I said, no, we just missed the station. Wow. So we're going to drop you. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, it's a, where are you going? I said, Google the place. Google where the are you going? Google the place. <laughs> where? So I would not have a problem to board, but mm. where to get off? That was that was one of the the challenge. Yeah, one of the biggest challenges that I had was to readjust from this transport system and the other transport system. Mm. Yeah. So now I want, you, I want you to talk a little bit about the weather in the US. I'm sure you came from a continent where the weather that side is not mm. almost the same like over here. I want you to prepare someone else who, who, maybe who knows next year someone else will be moving to the U.S. I want you to, 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 to prepare that person in terms of the weather. Uncle Lenny, as we talk about the weather, first people must come to the United States to see the Niagara Falls. To see the Niagara Falls. What they have done at the falls there, if we took it to mm. the Victoria Falls in Zambia, mm. I'm telling you to the Victoria Falls, we can actually attract two million tourists every year. Every year. And that is going to be a lot of for forex for the country. Mm. We're not going to be talking about the dollar escalating to levels that we are failing to manage. Mm. So they should come to the Niagara Falls. The place is so beautiful. beautiful. So beautiful, a weather there, and then the boat cruise is just something that is amazing. That's why I'm bringing my wife mm. next year. I want her to come. From the Niagara Falls, we returned to Pittsburgh, and I went into uh, into uh, Seattle, Seattle, Washington, and there I, I had access to the Pacific Ocean. Oh, really? And we only saw it on the maps, name Country B and the Ocean C. See, si. <laughs> <laughs> but we went to see it physically. physically. We went to see it physically. So, 
I, I really have enjoyed myself and just the way I've uh, uh, so uh, somebody coming here they they should be prepared for a lot of exposure mm. and uh, learning how to do things in a better way you miss your bus by three minutes you have to wait for another 15 30 minutes, minutes yeah. yeah so people really respect time and uh, it's true I've actually learned that time is money my time is money yeah. wow yeah. so guys you can see what pasta is talking about that uh, you we, you have to come and uh, make sure that we don't use our Zambian time because where we come from sometimes we look on the Sun but over here when it comes to time oh they are particular about time so make sure if you you have a plan coming to the US try to adjust your time because time is very important so pastor thank you so much we're gonna uh, shift some gears a little bit mm -hmm. I know you came to the U US on the conference on 2023 uh, at the House of Transformation on the theme Divine Health. Please talk a little bit. How was your experience at the conference? Firstly, I want to appreciate my friend and brother, Brother Kelvin Malunde, who actually sacrificed together um, with a brother in Turkey to make sure that I came into the United States. The Lord continued to bless them. They have been my host together with Sister Arit. I just want to say thank you and to my little new friend, Lulu. She's two years and she calls me TK and I'm so excited. Mm. I want to extend my special appreciation to Pastor Charity and Pastor Jerry, who are my host, who have been my host during this conference. I want to say thank you so very much, son, for the opportunity just to share the word of God at the House of Transformation and to minister in praise and worship the conference experience was something that was amazing it was amazing we had speakers i remember dr lazarus i remember a pastor jerry ministering apostle uh, alois Ru tv and many many other speakers that uh, just blessed our lives mm. and the, the the thing that stood out for me in the conference on divine help mm. is that when you render help to anybody make sure that it is not designed mm. to manipulate them manipulate them it, it, help must come without strings attached, attached. and I, I was so blessed just to 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 soak into the word of god and where you sit you mm. know where i come from you are preaching every day mm. where you sit and you just you are fed the word of god mm. i'm coming back loaded I can't wait just to be in Zambia and offload some of the stuff that I learned in that conference. The excellence, the quality, the orderliness of things. Mm. I think that stood out for me in the in the conference. Oh wow. Yeah. So House of Transformation, you can hear the testimonies that our visitors uh, took even as they are going home. The the, the order, the, the excellence, the way things are done in church. Please, may we continue doing the same thing. It's nice when visitors come and they take a good thing. Uh, and I'm sure the things that I've learned, they're going to also impact lives where they are going. Uh, uh, Kaleni, uh, sorry to interject. I think the other thing that has stood out for me in the House of Transformation yes. that I'm going to carry home, it mm -hmm. is the way the church welcomes visitors. The, the welcome. And you see, if the church in Zambia can actually learn mm. the way house of transformation welcomes visitors some of the church growth that we want to see in our churches is mm. gonna happen i'll not say automatic mm. it, it's gonna it's gonna happen at a faster rate mm. see the way i was welcomed in church by pastor himself mm. the congregate the members around mm. people standing off chairs just to come and greet you mm. as, a visitor. as a visitor after that you are taken to a vip room and there's a the welcome the welcome you know you you know i was so free i felt like i had been in church for a very long time long time so these two my small small groups you want to meet after church and ignore visitors mm. it's not a very very good thing mm. i've learned from a house of transformation that your priority mm. must be your first time comers in mm. church your visitors in church mm. so that one i'm gonna carry home and i want to see god gives us almost four visitors every week four visitors that's every about week. 16 every month mm. and if we can take a leap from a house of transformation and mm. welcome visitors in that way 
we can actually retain even for every month for every month yeah. yeah so i like the fact that you mentioned about the visitors feel at home um, um house of transformation i think that still stands that uh, most of the visitors that came in they literally felt at home and thank you so much for the people that are in charge on that department to making sure that uh, that spirit continues in the house of God because you know when people comes in it is the first thing that they see that's what they're going to take and you can imagine right now we are talking about the welcome the way he was welcomed thank you so much pastor now I've heard you have talked about all the good things about the house of transformation I want you to point out certain areas that we failed a little bit that you would say maybe this area needs a little bit of improvement <laughs> I think generally, I, I was so I was so blessed to be a house of transformation. I I saw a lot of um, uh, sisters in the worship team. So if I would send any words to my team, I would say, let's pick up the men as well. Let's pick up the men the as well. Team. But you see, that challenge is not just here. Okay. I've seen it even in, in our church at home. Okay. Uh, I don't know why there is a feeling that the ministry of praise and worship mm. has a female inclination. Mm. So maybe we could push in a little more brothers in the worship team. Okay. So that there is that balance even in terms of vocals Vocal. and stuff. Yeah. Mm. So let's... Um, uh, let's uh, encourage more brothers to come. Mm. Yeah, maybe that's an area I would say if we needed to improve, we can improve on that. Oh, I think I was all impressed as well to see the little ones mm. learning how to play, play the, the, key the keyboard. Because for me, that is very, very critical. Then you have cre you are creating a base for the future generations. Mm. Because if we just invest, you know, our youths, they marry and they transfer to another place. Mm. But if you are investing in children's church, mm. yeah, which I saw is one of your strengths, and I saw it this Sunday, where the, the little, little ones, ones they were took the ones, charge today. Yeah, they yes. took charge today. Yeah. So that is a that is a very positive thing. Otherwise, if it's an improvement, I will talk about. Um, uh, let's get the guys in the team. In the Why team. are the guys are ready to get in the team? <laughs> so guys, <laughs> you have heard. Yes, uh, yeah. Pastor is talking about in the press team. We need to make sure that we. Uh, Try by all means to bring in the men so that we can have that balance in the praise team. Of course, one thing I've noticed is that men are always taking the back seat in everything, which is not supposed to be like that. We're supposed to be upfront, making sure that we also lead or even in things like that, the praise and worship. So, brothers, we should not just go and warm the chairs. I like the, like I like today where the young ones were taking charge on the music uh, uh, system. Mm -hmm. So it's the same. We need also to train the young ones also to be fusing in the praise team. They're saying charity begins at home. So we have to train these young uh, boys also to start transitioning to take a position in a, um, a, a, a praise team. Yes, sir. Pastor, thank you so much for pointing out of that. I'm sure the, the team will look into making sure that the men also are supposed to be fusing in a, in a praise team. For sure, I've noticed that it's only the women that are, are, are in charge about that. Pastor, I've noticed that you have a ministry. We're going to shift gears a little bit. Yes. Thank you so much. I noticed that you have a ministry for the singles and couples with the destiny. Please, would you shed light a little bit about that? The Singles and Couples with a Destiny started first as a ministry for the singles only okay. in 2007. Actually, before I got married to Carol, the Lord just laid a burden on my heart to groom future fathers and mothers of the nation. Mm. I actually discovered that the smallest unit of a nation begins in a home. Mm. And so if we don't deliberately prepare these new fathers and mothers of the nation, then we, 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 we mustn't expect much from them because what determines output is the input. Mm -hmm. And then the making of these future fathers and mothers was something that um, um, was was a challenge when I saw it. You see, if you gave the, the um, let me talk about Zambian system, if we got a student from Helen Kaunda and gave Bukito Central Hospital to say, can you make an S out of her? It's gonna take them three years. 
If we took from Quito boys, we took them to Quito a teacher college of education and say, can you make a teacher out of this? It's gonna take them three years. But if you gave a church, a bride and groom to be, say, can you make these ones into a bride and groom? It is a 12 session program. Mm. And so this is what is connected to the escalating divorce rates in the nation. Mm. So one of the passions that I have to mentor the singles to become better fathers than us mm. is so that there is a, there is a, we have a stronger nation because if we have strong homes, mm. then we're gonna have strong communities. From mm. strong communities, we're gonna have strong cities. Mm. From tr strong cities, then we're gonna have a strong nation. And then later on, uh, couples with a destiny mm. was introduced some four or five years ago and 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 uncle len from limited resources yes i sell suits mm. and a bit of musical instruments oh wow from the, those resources that god has given to us mm. in 2019 we did 24 meetings in five provinces mm. from our limited resources wow. we have done over uh, over 60 to 90 programs for the youth and and, and, and couples combined mm. just from those li little resources. resources and I'm telling you if God could raise men and women who mm. can be part of this my passion is to go to the 10 provinces mm. and talk to our fathers mm. if it means kneeling down I'm gonna kneel down and tell them and say sirs we want to apologize mm. uh, we want to combine with uh, the wisdom that God has given you as our fathers mm. to make sure that we strengthen homes. Mm. Even the churches are going to be strong if we have stronger marriages. Mm. That's the purpose of couples and singles with a destiny. Mm. So Pastor, let me take you a little bit. I want to understand the, uh, one more thing over here. Why you decided to pick up the singles? Um, when it came to the singles, what kind of session is this? Are you uh, preparing for them to have a normal um, uh, home setup, or are you preparing them into marriages or anything else like that? Or you are teaching them about society? What 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 kind of uh, 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 session is involved in the singles? The singles actually, uh, it's a holistic approach. Okay. When you go into many churches, they have got what they call youth groups. Youth groups, yes. But you see, I noticed a gap in church mm -hmm. when it came to the singles. Mm. There is a time a youth grows to a particular point where they begin to feel as out of place when they go for a youth meeting. Okay. What we do, we try, if they are men, young men, we try to push them into the men's fellowship. Okay. They also feel out of place. So at the end of the day, they become like a no man's land. So mm. they are not in the youth. Okay. And they are not in the other department. Mm. So this is the group that I was fishing out because they are transitioning from adolescence mm -hmm. into adulthood. Into adulthood. They are thinking about settling down. Mm. They are asking themselves questions. Mm. Where will I get my finances to finance my life? Mm. Who am I going to settle with as my life partner? Mm. What kind of a life am I going to live? Mm. They are trying to find their feet. What has God really called me to do? as my contribution on my planet. Mm. So this is the passion that God has given to me, mm. is to reposition these young men and tell them, you guys, if you're gonna talk about marriage, marriage is not for jokes. Mm. Marriage is serious business. So you need to prepare. Mm. You need to prepare. And if you're not preparing, you're preparing to fail. That's exactly. Actually, even the lack of preparation is actually preparation. Mm. So you need to start preparing. If you're talking about bringing a person into your life, mm. you're talking about a person from another country because a home is a country. Mm. And every country is run by legislation, principles, and constitutional value systems. Mm. So how are you going to synchronize those principles that your friend grew up with that is what I want to teach them. Mm. How do you keep yourself sexually pure mm. as a single person? So I teach them about principles of sexual purity. Mm. We teach them about finances. Mm. Just on the 25th of November, when I return, mm. we have got a, a guru in the finance system, mm. Dr. Rosia Suratambo. He's coming to do a mentorship class oh, wow. for the singles. And I've got to judge Peg Banda, who is it? who is a, a low person, mm. but she's into business. Into business. Yes. Yeah. And he, 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 that is the holistic 
mm-hmm. impact that we want to have on the seniors. Mm-hmm. So he's preparing them on every Alien. side of life, not just one side mm-hmm. in polygon. Preparing them for marriage, yes. Mm-hmm. Preparing them to be financially Just, independent yes. because you can't marry on your father's pocket. No, no, no. I no. meet a lot of singles. What is your plan for your wedding? So my Bali, my I say your Bali. <laughs> Stop talking about your Bali and talk about yourself. What that, have you done? That's exactly yeah. yeah. So Pastor Tike, thank you so much for what you're doing, and please, you have heard what Pastor Tike is doing. He's making so much impact in our communities, not only for his own benefit, but you have heard that within a limited resources that he has he has to sell music uh, uh, instrument suits just for him to travel from one province to another remember that he did not only focus on the copper belt but his goal is making sure that he goes around the whole 10 provinces in zambia to be a blessing so please if you are able to do something get involved into ministries like this extend your hand to making sure that these men and women can go and be a blessing to teach these couples. Remember that if we have stronger families, mean we have a stronger society. If we have broken homes, of course the product is going to be seen in our community that yeah. these kids are coming from broken homes. Yeah. So it's very important to go back to the fundamental, making sure that the foundation is right. I will encourage you to be part and parcel of ministries. If you are in Zambia, please, we will leave our numbers over there so that you can zero or you can invest and you, even if you're in america please find a way on how to support this cause this is a very important <laughs> pastor Tike. i noticed that you wrote a book <laughs> i noticed that you wrote a book yeah it's here on the uh, repositioning the man to his rightful place why did you focus on the uh, uh, repositioning of a man as we talk about the repositioning of the man, and I, and Colleen, it's important that I point out that couples and singles with a destiny, we have extended it now to the kingdom of Swaziland. It's mm. now Iswatini. Mm. I've got a pastor friend there, Pastor Pendolo, and he has welcomed me with that ministry. Mm. One of our mentors, uh, we were growing, they saw us as young persons. He has extended uh, his invitation for us in Botswana. Last year, I was talking to the singles mm. and couples in Botswana. Wow. So you can see that couples and singles with a destiny is not just in the 10 provinces of Zambia. Zambia. We want to go mm. into many nations to go and talk because the issue to do with strong homes, mm. if we don't emphasize it, no matter how much education we're going to get, mm. it's, it's not going to uh, help. Or, yeah. Talking about repositioning the man. Mm. I think the the critical thought and summary of this book is the issue to do with leadership. Mm. It is my great conviction that every challenge that you have seen in the community, it is directly or indirectly related to the male child. Mm -hmm. Because the first person that God created on the planet was a man. Was a man. It was a male child in short. Mm. It was a male child. And he gave him dominion. And that and when he created the male child, God never returned to the soil again to go and make another child. To go mm. and make another person. Another human being. He took the woman out of the man. Mm. When you take something out of it becomes a product of you. Yes. So this man was the foundation. He was enough for community, mm. global, mm. and the city transformation. Wow. So whatever challenges you are seeing, and Colleen, in the community, it is directly or indirectly related, connected mm. to the male child. So if the male child is repositioned to his original place, place. where he he knows that I am the one in charge. Mm. If things are not going well in the country right now, the fourth, the first reason why is because of the, the male child. The male child. Yes. Well, brothers and sisters, you can hear that it's about time we take our position. And for sure, what he's saying that uh, if a, ma- a, ma- a male child is not positioned right, the society is going wrong. So I want you to make sure that you get yourself a copy and this book. Pastor, by the way, 
where can we find these books i'm gonna put a link where we currently have this book okay we've got a platform very similar to amazon i'm praying that i'll get the book on amazon as well okay you can get it on soft copy yeah it's about uh, six ninety nine dollars mm -hmm. uh, hard copy at twelve dollars yeah that's about 120 in quacha and the 200 for a hard copy mm. and of course i'm gonna leave my numbers where we can actually uh, tell you where the various uh, selling points are otherwise you can get the book online and we can ship it to where you are mm. yes yes it's a powerful um if you are if you want to give a gift to somebody mm. that is about to get married, mm. this is this is a man you can sit down with the men's fellowship mm. and they run through it the whole year. The whole year. It is both for the couples, it is both for the singles. Mm. It's going to revolutionize your thinking and help you to reposition yourself mm. as a man. Mm. It's very, very imperative that our men get to their rightful place. We mustn't be leaving things just to our ladies no mm. things have gone wrong in our communities because men are not taking their place their place they yeah. are so busy even the raising of children men are not there yeah. they just bring food in the house like it's a chicken run you know there's a difference between rearing children mm. and raising children. The raising children and most of the raising is happening as a one-sided polygon by the mothers mm. the fathers are not there the voice of the father is not there mm. so we are growing with a community that has a fatherless mm community oh, wow. they don't have a voice of a father mm. because the father is busy trying to win mm. all the money no the money now you're gonna bring the money and leave inheritance for the children mm. now what you leave for the children is important but mm. what is more important than what you leave in mm. the children it's not okay. for the children because what you leave for them if it does not collaborate with what you live in them, mm. what you live for them is going to kill them. That's exactly it. Yeah. So brothers and sisters, this is so powerful. Um, I will attest to you that I have a copy myself. I've gone through this book and the, uh, what is inside, I'll tell you that you need to get one. And what is us talking about? For sure we live in this world which is, we said we are so busy. We are running up and down day in and day out chasing after dollar and what he said is true you're going to realize that most of the children are raised with only our mothers there's one voice which is missing mm. what is the most important is to find time for a family it's important to come to a point where to say today i won't go and work but i just need to be my family so that you are also going to leave something into your children mm. I like what he said yeah, that yeah. there's a two different things where you, what you bring and what you leave inside mm. but you cannot live inside when you're way busy every day mm -hmm. and that's the reason why we have seen that these are what is also going on in this society that we live in we have so much where children they are missing the father figure voice because we are too busy so let's stop giving up so much excuses why we are not at home but we have to find if we know that family is the most important you will find time for a family hmm. pastor if someone else wants to be a blessing into your ministry how can someone else reach you um i'm going to give my email address um cassandra tom at gmail.com that is the first uh, way you can reach me and become part of what we are doing and uh, we really appreciate that my phone number uh, is plus two six zero um uh, nine six nine five double one four seven four five one double nine six nine mm -hmm. five double one yes four seven four so it's a uh, zero nine six nine five double one mm. 474 the code we know it is plus 260 there are many ways you can be a blessing to this ministry mm. firstly we are lacking a lot of marriage counselors mm. yeah a lot of marriage counselors you if if you've got a passion to be a counselor mm. right now you might not be a qualified marriage counselor but mm. I, 
I've got a class where I train. No, you train marriage counselors. Mm. But some of you, you have actually gone ahead of us, and you would want to bring your wisdom mm. to be part of this program. Mm. It's very, very important. This time, if you want to find a marriage counselor in Zambia, it's two thousand five hundred kwacha. Wow, we're talking about uh, mm. two hundred or a hundred plus dollars. Dollars, yeah. You know, and then we we want as many counselors as possible. Mm. We want. Uh, we want people, male and female, that have got a passion for the younger ones. Mm. Because these are the next generation. Mm. 20 years from now, we're going to have our energies running low. Mm. And so it's important that we create a platform where we can mentor the younger ones mm. into credible citizens in the community. Mm. So please bring your expertise. You mm. can't sit down at the back of the church and say, I cannot contribute anything. anything. Yeah, so you can bring your expertise. Mm. And number two, you can be part of the training mm. of the marriage counselors. Wow. You don't have to be in Zambia. You can be in the United States. Mm. And Colleen, you say, I'm going to spare an hour. I've got a platform. You can check it on Facebook called... Um, uh, couples with a destiny mm. you can request for your know, for your membership there and then i can add you as an admin and then you can do the training mm. for the counselors online wireless you are in the states wow you tell us me i'm gonna train couples on how to handle finances mm. because believe me or not the top three reasons why couples are breaking mm. one of them is finances finances yes, yes. so you're gonna say me i'm a finance um, i'm a financial expert I can actually bring in the aspect of finances. Mm. Some of you, um, you know, people don't know nothing about law mm. uh, regarding their marriage and stuff. I say, me, I'm a law person. Mm. You must know what the law says about your marriage. About your marriage. So can we, can I do that training online? Mm. If you come on Couples with a Destiny, I've got mentors that are doing that. Wow. Yes. So you can come in as a trainer. As a trainer. Yes. But number three, you can help Pastor Tike and the team. Mm. You know, the credible thing about Couples and Singles with a Destiny, it mm. is not run by this personality called Pastor Tiki. Mm, I've Pastor. got human resource from different churches. Different churches. My vice chairperson for singles and couples with a destiny mm. is Father Robert Sihuwa from the Anglican Church. Wow. We've wow. got people from POG on the leadership. Mm. Uncle Davis Mshekwa is there. Wow. We've got people from uh, Seventh Day. Mm. We've got people from other ministries. Mm. So these, these are not monies that are going to come into a pocket and we fail to account for mm. it. We have got um, proper feedback. You can check it on couples with the destiny and see what people are saying about this ministry. Mm. Lives have been revolutionized. Marriages at the verge of breaking. Mm. They attend our meetings. Some of them, they are law cases. They had court cases and they are about to go and divorce. Mm. But when they attended these meetings, mm. they they revoke they that revoke decision and say, Pastor, what you said mm. has actually blessed our lives. Mm. And uh, that is yes. uh, what is going to happen. Yes, oh, this yes. is one of my beautiful friends. Yes. <laughs> uh, one of my beautiful friends yes. <laughs> in, the, in the States. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, you want to so, gonna, you gonna go to see Daddy? Okay, go to that. <laughs> Bye-bye. So one of my beautiful friends. Yeah, one of the beautiful yeah. friends. So, Pastor, one thing I like most about your ministry is that um, you have gone back to tackle the roots. You have gone about the uh, singles, the couples. You have talked about how you are diverse. It's not only a single church. You have taken one from Anglican, one from the other church. It's interdenominational in short. Inter it's an interdenomination. Even our treasure yes. is not coming from our church. Wow. So if you're going to send those resources to help us do a meeting, mm. I've got a meeting on the 19th. Mm. It, it, it's a budget of a thousand dollars plus. Mm. And um, yeah, you want to be part of that, please feel free to contact us because mm. we are bringing mentors in those places mm. and we want to appreciate those mentors. Mm. You know, things to do with teachings um, that is going to bring value into your life. Mm. Yeah, people pay for very serious tickets to go and watch football. That's exactly yeah. yeah. So. so let's talk about that whilst you're talking about the football. So for someone else to attend those meetings, how much, how much is the fee? The, I've got um, a ticket. I mean, we are talking about the ticket. It's I've, not a fee. I've got two meetings 
before the end of the year for the couples. Okay. And uh, two meetings for the singles. Mm. For the couples, the first one is Sunday on the 19th of November. 19th of November. That is going to be a Sunday. Okay. Um, we picked a venue called Christ Mission Assembly, okay. which is uh, a branch church of the Apostolic Church in Zambia. It is a five minutes drive into Ring Road from Woodland Stadium. Okay. Yes. Mm. You, will, you will not... As long as you are coming from Woodland Stadium, you get to the T-junction in the Ring Road, you turn on the left, you will find something written, Apostolic Church in Zambia, Christ Mission Assembly. Mm. That's a church that is pastored by one of my friends, Dr. Wesmumba and Pastor Sharon. Okay. That meeting, we have just put a registration of a hundred kwacha okay. per couple. Per couple. Okay. Yeah. A registration, just to help us get started. Mm. Just to help us make sure that we buy some water for our mentors when mm. they come. So that meeting is starting at 15. Don't miss that meeting for everyone. Mm. If for, for anything, if you want to sponsor 100 couples, mm. just call us. Mm. Call Father Robert Sihuwa at, um, at um, by the way, their place, Father Robert, is also called the, a place of transformation. <laughs> <laughs> the Anglican Church, there. it's a place of transformation. Call Father Robert Sihuwa, call Elgam Shekwa, whoever you find there. They will help you if you want to get, get a give. Just go to Bama Road, National mm. Slow Road. I say I have brought um, uh, something uh, for five couples. Mm. You can call any five couples. Mm. I've already done the registration for them, mm. and um, that is what we would appreciate actually. Mm. And then on the twenty fifth of November, I've got that meeting in Kitwe. In Kitwe, Doctor Robert Cecilia Twambo, and um, for the youths. We, we want to cushion them. Mm. We don't want to... So it's a free entry. Mm. And that meeting, Uncle Len, is very special. Mm. If you ask me why. Yes. That meeting is so special because the mentors that are coming on the platform, mm. they want to hear business proposals from the youths and the singles. Mm. And from that meeting, I want even to appeal, mm. Uncle Len, if you are able to sponsor a capital for these youth groups because yes. they'll be coming from different churches yes and we don't want to do individual sponsorships mm. for now but we want to sponsor youth groups mm. if a youth group can actually even have a three thousand kwacha mm. mm, that's a two hundred dollars mm. for them to start as a youth group they can start up something small something buying small. something on the Sunday service, they are buying, they are selling the jiggy, some drinks, mm. some chips, and some sausage, and everybody is excited at mm. church. When they are meeting, they will not be starting from zero. Mm. So we are saying these youth youths, they must not just be called for prayer meeting, mm. for intercession. Those are nice uh, things that we need to, but we need to train them holistically. Mm. We need to try, and we have told them, for them to be accountable, if they make a hundred quarter profit. Yes. 10% of that, 20% of that mm. is coming to singles and couples with the destiny. So mm. they'll be giving a report. So okay. we're not just in letting them go mm. after training them. Mm. Yes. So Pastor Teke, let me understand a little bit about the youth. So yes. uh, on November 25, you, yes. your November 25th, you're going to bring this youth yes. uh, from various churches. Yes. So guys, please, I want to appeal to you, wherever you are, this, it's important what they are doing they said they're gonna start bringing the groups the, this youth and they want to teach them something but they don't have to start from with nothing but they have to start i mean preparing to have a business or anything else like that to keep them away from doing the wrong thing so uncle lenny i think uncle lenny is gonna uh, uh, uh sponsor one group Uncle Len is going to send $200 wow, to that thank group. You, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> You're you, welcome. Thank you so much, sir. Uncle Len is going the to send... Best, the best business proposals, we want to give them a startup uh, capital. Startup capital. So that even as they... You know, there's a lot of youth conferences in December. Mm. From their little profit, who knows that they can sponsor 10 more youths to go into mm. the youth conferences. Mm. The POGs, they have got conferences. These, they have got conferences everywhere. Mm. So, Uncle Len, if we can have... People with your heart, mm. just to say, I'm going to send in a $200 to make sure this is going to be live. Mm. We are not going to do this behind the, the back. Mm. You're going to see it. It's going to be online. online. And when, we, when, we, when the, the gurus, the business gurus are going to say, 
this proposal is sustainable and it can work out mm. and this group has qualified mm. yeah we, we're gonna see it there all right so all right really appreciate no support. anytime we are definitely going to do that uncle any has to be a blessing because that's the reason why this channel is still there to promote our businesses and others and making sure that what you are doing to me it's very important not only to me but to my viewers because you are touching lives anything else that will take the the, uh, the, the, the youth away from the street and keeping them busy Uncle Eni will be there to support. So, Pastor, um, thank you so much. Is there anything else that you want to add or to say to the people that you have met or the loved ones that are in Zambia? What message do you have? Those that are in Zambia, they will just think Pastor Tike is talking just about the singles. Now, on the Christmas Eve, we have got a couples meeting mm. right at church. Couples meeting. Prophetic Worship Center, Apostolic Church in Zambia, five minutes drive from Riverside Police Station. It's a 10 minutes drive from Quito Central Hospital. We have got couples there and I've got a unique speaker. It's a mother. Mm. I've always wanted to balance the voice of a mother and the voice of a father. Mm. Now, Reverend Sophie Nando is coming to speak there. Mm. She's a mother in the city and a voice mm. that uh, people are looking for in their meetings. Mm. If you you checked her name, you'll find her all, on almost all the posters. Mm. She's a resource that is going to bless the couples. But don't forget the 24th of um, December, we're going to have uh, uh, couples and the registration, it's a hundred quacha. But lastly, I want to say... I don't know what you could be going through right now, especially in the nation of Zambia, um, where um, we have been advised that economically we are not doing very well as a nation. Mm. I want us to be strong. I, wanted to, I want us to be resolute that the God who saw us through when the dollar was at 5, when it was at 10 and 15, is going to see us even when the dollar... Uh, of course, you know that every strong, uh, the strength of every economy is run on three factors which is production distribution and consumption and god has to give us wisdom to balance that because what is really um, challenging our economies is our production levels mm. they are very low and you find that what we produce we rarely eat and what we eat we don't produce mm. so it's very very important that we balance that particular equation i want to urge the nation to keep us uh, strong and don't lose your faith. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, the other day they saw me on Facebook, I put a song and I was dancing. Yeah. But I made this a storm, put on a song and dance. Mm -hmm. Don't be don't be tensed up. If you're a married couple, come and stop screaming at your wife because mm -hmm. the economy is bad. You can actually decide to say, We're gonna eat something else besides the shima. The shima. And, uh, yeah, you can you, you, in, a, in America, I can count how many times I had shima in six months. You can imagine. <laughs> yeah, and yet here. you're still looking healthy. And I'm looking healthy. I didn't survive because of shima. Mm. So this is your friend and brother, Pastor TK. If you want to be part of this ministry, please support Uncle Lenny. And make sure you share and share and subscribe to this channel that is changing lives in the United States and, of course, everywhere in the world the lord richly bless you and thank you so much for this opportunity pastor thank you so much i'm also going to take this advantage to appreciate people like mr kelvin i mean uh mr kelvin thank you so much that uh, you went out and you managed to bring this man of god i pray that there'll be so many kelvin in our community people that will not look just for themselves and their families but to look back and see i mean he only brought this man not only for himself but to be a blessing to this community yeah. pastor thank you so much thank oh you. my god i can't wait to see you next time yes. in Kitwe. our social change apostle tv brought 26 people in the conference 26 people next year i want to bring 10. you want to bring 10. <laughs> I, I didn't, you didn't talk about care of baby <laughs> care of baby and my girls see you on wednesday continue praying for the um a safe light and the Lord bless you. Mama Kero, thank you so much. We appreciate so much for what you're doing. I mean, we can see we are blessed to have pasta, but even if you are in Zambia, we have heard more about you. We can't wait to see you in 2024 on the conference again. Pasta, you have been a blessing to us. Thank, thank you so much. I really appreciate and God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.